Hello everybody, this is Dr. Guzman. I'm here with uh, Mr. Fredericks, and we are gonna show you how to do heart rate and blood pressure. Well, I'm gonna show you. He's gonna be my client, a test rep. First things first, heart rate. So there's two locations on the body that you can measure heart rate. There's a corroded artery, just right here, and there's like the chin area and the neck, as he pointed out here. And there's just right under the thumb where the radial artery starts. Now what you want to do is with two fingers, your two, uh, your index and your middle finger, you go ahead and you palpate, kind of find where you can find a, a good heartbeat. And from there, once you find a good heartbeat, you want to get like a timer or kind of count in your head uh, down to either 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Now, if you do the 15 second method, you're going to go ahead and multiply that number by four, and that should give you an accurate um, heart rate. If you want to do it by 30 seconds, all you got to do is multiply it by two, and that'll give you an accurate heart rate as well. So a normal heart rate for an average adult is around 60 to 100 beats a minute. So basically, the lower your heart rate is, the more efficient it is at pumping blood throughout the body during your rest, and it also gives you an accurate de uh, depiction of how your cardiovascular fitness is. And remember, never use your thumb to measure heart rate. There's already a little heart rate going on in your thumb, and that's just gonna mess the whole thing up, and that's not fun. All right, next on the agenda is measuring blood pressure. As you can see, we're in quarantine, and I, although I am a doctor, I do not have a BP cup or gauge with me, or a stethoscope, so maybe I shouldn't be a doctor. I'm gonna show you how you would do it if you did have these equipment. So. Pretend I'm holding the BP cup here with the gauge. What it will show you is, it'll show you the direction of either go, how you would wrap it when you put it on the right arm or the left arm. It is recommended to do it on the left arm. Now, what I would do is we're gonna get his arm and get the cuff and wrap it nice and snug here on the upper bicep arm area, right where the brachial artery is. Right there, get it nice and snug, make sure it's loose. I would ask him, is it snug? Does it feel like it's gonna fall off? Snug? Yes. Great answer. So we wrap it around like this, right? And then you have your little knob, your little gauge, and usually there's like a little pocket that you can just slide it right in there and um, leave it there so you don't have to hold it because then you would get your stethoscope. And you're gonna put your stethoscope right here at the like connecting part of the elbow right where the brachial artery is as well. And what you're gonna do with the bag you're gonna pump up the cuff to about where the needle says 160, 150 to kind of get the air compressed, break your artery kind of compressed. And what you're gonna do is put your earbuds on from the stethoscope and with a little knob on the bag of the cuff, you're gonna slowly release the air. As you slowly release, you wanna to listen to what sounds like a whooshing or almost like a pounding sound. Right, and you'll notice on the gauge that the number will spike up. When it first spikes up, that is gonna be your systolic blood pressure. That is gonna be when the valve opens right up and the first amount of blood starts running through that, that artery. Now, as you keep slowly releasing it, keep tracking the number, and as you, as you get to the end of it, you won't hear anything and you'll see that the knob will just fly right down. As soon as that knob begins to lose control and not keep almost jabbing up, that's when you'll record your diastolic blood pressure. And that's gonna be when the muscle relaxes and all the blood has entered the valve. What's a normal blood pressure? 120 over 80. That's what we'll likely see. A little bit higher, a little bit lower can be a little, give you a little wiggle room, but we wanna see 120 over 80. And so that concludes my video. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fredericks, for tagging along with me. Um, I'm Dr. Guzman. We'll see you next week.